This is Kaylee Law and I am here with the man that I consider to be my mentor, my inspiration in life for everything I do, Mr. Rajaram. I am so excited, so happy to be here with you today. Um, what a so, sweet introduction. So you, this is the first time you've ever played a note in New York. Yeah, I studied but, music here, but... Right, but you learned how to play here, yeah. so how, can you tell me how did that come full circle for you? Like, when did you grow up in New York? And no, I grew up in Australia for the first 17 years, and then I went to India when I was 17 in 1958. Wow. I don't think you even thought of in 1958. I was walking the streets of Old Delhi looking for some hash when I was 17, <laughs> just so happy to be out of Australia. And you know, I'd studied, I went back and I studied the flute and then I went to New York and I studied jazz with a great teacher of Lenny Tristano and I didn't really do much with it. And then I went to a Greek island with my wife and spent two years practicing what he had taught me. And then I came back to London, 68, we are now, God, 68, seems like yesterday. Pink Floyd were just breaking up, the man on the moon, Vietnam War, that was the time, right? Everything was rocking, London was swinging and I put an ad in the paper saying, uh, rock musicians, Indian, must live in Leadbroke Grove, and 300 people rang up the next day, and I thought, wow, this London is rocking. So yeah. we put a band together in six weeks, went on the road, had about 12 record contracts within a month, and signed with Island Records, and brought out five albums, and that was how it sort of all started, and that was sort of the first phase. But the New York phase came sort of later, and I mean, I kept going back to New York and studying, and doing it but New York except you know America gave me so much and put me on the right track and full of brilliant wonderful talented musicians so you lived here for a while yeah I lived here on different times like in the early 60s and the 65 66 what was it like in the 60s where were you then? I lived in Greenwich Village and everybody was a beatnik and before you know hippies hippies hadn't come we were beatniks and beatniks were great you know it was Allen Ginsberg and you'd see people walking around and everybody lived in the village and it was cool and we used to live in a $50 flat per month cold water with a friend and we could live on $10 a month or something like that it was wow. just amazing and just hung out all the time and met musicians and everything and then I got bored and hopped on a boat and went to Morocco and that was another phase. What then. did you do in Morocco? <laughs> what everybody does in Morocco and then went to Ibiza <laughs> and then I went around the world about three times and went to Cambodia and India and kept going back and and this was, you were traveling and performing or just traveling? No, at that stage I'd never really performed. The only time I really performed was when I came in the late 60s and formed the Quintessence. So it was quite a lot of years of traveling aimlessly, wow. looking for something. God knows what I was looking for, but it was Did a lot of fun. Did you ever find it? I think I've sort of found something for sure <laughs> after, you know, 70 years. You know, I've got a lovely wife and a wonderful daughter and a granddaughter and you know, house and people who love me around and going into this business where it's all love and meeting people. And I could have stopped it years ago. I didn't need to do it or anything, but it's just so wonderful. And it's such a great family. And every week you meet new people and new experiences and who'd want to give that up? Right. So this is just, as I said, forward. this is the start now. I may be old and everything. It's taken this long to get started, but there's life in the old dog oh, yet. Yeah. So we're going to rock America and, and do our best. And, you know, we've got festivals and other things and tours and stuff, but we're going to keep it very calm and never go too fast. Yeah, yeah, I think we're ready for it. <laughs> I think, you know, we have a massive fan base here, much yeah. more than anywhere else in the world, but we've never played. I mean, this just proved it. It was incredible, oh. that crowd. Oh, my gosh, like just a siege. Yeah, but I'm sure they were for the Biscos, and, you know, it, it's this that... Yeah, but they came to see you, you Well, know? they were there, I can't <laughs> deny, and they were one of the most responsive audiences yeah. I've ever played Did to you ever. see that giant shot yeah. I mean, it was, it was <laughs> overwhelming and such enthusiasm and dedication and, yeah. as I said before, love. That's what you feel on the stage. So Halloween, you said you're coming back. Halloween, Where? we're coming back with a full show. We're going to, it's going to be the Circus Psychedelic Soleil. Off the mind, in and we're going in New York, and we've got the fantastic venue in Oakland, California. Apparently, it's the what's it called the the 
and the, anyhow, everybody will know it is the best place apparently oh, to play. Yeah. So we're doing Hammerstein Ballroom and we'll deck it out and we'll have some guest artists. And so I'm already excited about that. Yeah. So that's soon. So Spongo, you know, it's, to me it's more than just music. It's not just the name oh, of the band. Yeah. Like, I mean, how would you, there's there's Spongo Land, there's, you know, are you Spongolized? Like it means so many different things. Like how do you define yeah, it? Yeah, well, we're all looking for our own Spongo Land. You know, Spongo Land is a place that exists and it's in us and out of us. It's sort of inner world and outer world. But we enter through the inner world. And to find Spongle is very simple, it's there. And once you get there, there are many rooms and chambers and tunnels and adventures to be had in Spongle Land, ineffable adventures in Spongle Land. But there's a lot more. I mean, there's really a lot more to go yet. We haven't prodded it enough yet. So Spongle 5 is, we're starting in September for that. I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it will take as long as it takes. As soon as it's ready, we'll share it with you. Wonderful. You'll be the first. The, an album, you're saying? We're going to work on another album. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's good. Simon is, you know, we're going to quit after the third album. I said to say, you know, it's a perfect trilogy. Yeah. Three, it's the perfect, and then we go around the world and we say, when's the fourth song? And we just bowed to it and we loved making the fourth one. And now I've talked, Sai, and I've said, you've got to, to make the, the five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has to be the five, yeah. the quintessence, the quintessential album. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you've released a single recently, The God Particle, and that was based on the concept of the, tell me a little bit about this. Yeah. Well, that was just something, you know, we'd seen this thing about the, the God particle and how they were searching for the origin of the universe, and it just seemed such a good idea. And so I suggested, Simon said, no, I don't want to do it. And I told him the idea. He said, yes, I want to do it immediately. Let's like, start tomorrow. So we went in and we just recorded. We got actually six sounds from the collider that one of the scientists sent us. Oh, wow. So we had the synthesized sounds of the molecules. So we used that as a basic of the track. And then we built up about 200 layers. And the idea was to be a particle going around this 28 mile tunnel in opposite directions and the collisions and the analysis of that. It's a very unusual piece. I mean, it's not a piece that, you know, it's not a typical Spongle piece because it's a concept piece, but when you listen to it on headphones, really loud, it's one of the few pieces of music that can actually change your alpha rhythms and endorphins. Oh my God. But if you just listen to it ordinary, you won't get that. But if you put it on and really go into deep into that on good quality headphones, you'll come out the wormhole another side. All right, I've got to go home and yeah, try it's it. Yeah, it's quite an experience. But, you know, we, that was that, and now we're moving on now to more of our... The next page. Well, I saw um, in that video that you had put like a penny in a wine glass and you were yeah, that we around started like all that. Was there anything else you know, like yeah, that? Yeah, we did, did uh, yeah, loads of things, you know, getting marbles and throwing them down marble floors and recording all sorts of strange noises, insects rubbing their legs and, you know, think, it just weirdness. And we, I, we got all that going before we started and then we put those over the synthesized things from the the laboratory and one of the guys wrote to us from the laboratory and said I'm a Spongle fan you found the God particle and we're still looking for it and I said yeah right you know so that was the God particle and it was a weird one wow that's amazing so when do you think the album's coming out again <laughs> it will be idea? ages probably ages okay yeah. I mean yeah take but it'll time, be coming please. you know we'll be you know as long as Cy gives me some time you know he, I'm always hustling and, and I want to record that's that's where I feel most at home it's just, you know, our chemistry together. He does all the work and I do nothing. It's just brilliant. Yeah. I sit on the couch and I draw. <laughs> and then once every while, I look up sagaciously and say, mm. and then he has to go back and spend another three days on the drum patterns. And that's sort of how we work. Yes. I've got the best gig in the world. Yes, you do, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I know I'm running out of time here, but thank you uh, so much. Ellie, for you are with divine, me. and it's yes. such a pleasure to meet you. I <laughs> wish too. I could just hang out and spend so much more time, and I'll look forward to that. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'll, I will be there on Halloween. Of I'll course. Be at well, you'll be guests of ours, of course, you will. So <laughs> stay you. close, and we'll get your tickets, and we'll. And I want you to send love to Rich. Yes, uh, you absolutely. know, he's in my heart, mind, and soul. And I so want to thank, thank all of you here and Lost and Sound and all the American people and the world in general our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our gurus, <laughs> the saints, the sages, Omnima Shivaya. Let's all rock together into the future. Woo! Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Guys, I have got to go yes. to the next level. Thank you, oh, thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you. Mm, you are so special. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you.
Oh, Thank you man. for everything. Was, uh, I, I want to listen to your stories great. all night. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I'd like to tell you them all night. Yeah, yes. word. Yeah.